So I just want to take a moment to address this. And if I'm wrong, let me know. But was Anita Sarkeesian not on the UN panel at one point for women's rights? Did she not come up there to the UN to speak about this? You know, because video games are sexist and misogynistic and they're offensive and blah, blah, blah. Yet the UN, the U fucking N, is putting Saudi goddamn Arabia into the UN Women's Rights Commission. Are these people fucking retarded? Like, no, th this should infuriate everybody. The liberals, the conservatives, the feminists, the anti-feminists, the SJWs, the anti sdws This should piss off everybody. The UN is fucking stupid for thinking this is a good fucking idea. They are fucking retarded. They are stupid. This is a stupid, dumb dick decision. Like, <laughs> I can't even wrap my mind around the logic that these people had in thinking this was going to work. What? <laughs> fucking what? What's going through their minds thinking, oh yeah, people are going to like this. Women are going to like this. What fucking sane ass woman would approve of this shit? Are you fucking stupid? You, clearly you are fucking stupid. But I guess maybe Saudi Arabia has a bit more pull than we thought. But at the end of the day, who the fuck doesn't know that Saudi Arabia is oppressive to fucking women? Who doesn't know that shit? God, these people are... F I, I, I want to make jokes. I want to be fun. I mean, I'm ranting, I know, but... You know, I wanted to make a couple of jokes here and there, but... <laughs> I need a Sarkeesian. Spoke on, or spoke to the UN about women's rights. The same UN that has made Saudi Arabia <laughs> on the UN or on the UN Women's Rights Commission panel. Oh, the logic kills me. I hope Andy Worski doesn't file a uh, copyright claim. I, I know he won't, but I hope he doesn't file a copyright claim for that groan there because Jesus Christ, this is stupid. So, God fucking stupid. So Saudi Arabia was elected to the United Nations Commission on the Status of Women. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And it's 20 goddamn 17. 2017. These idiots in the UN, like back in the 19 goddamn 30s. The addition of the Gulf Nation was first flagged by UN Watch, which I have a link to that here in a bit. A non-governmental body that monitors the United Nations. The Commission on the Status of Women's main mission is to assess the challenges to reaching gender inequality, which, yeah, Saudi Arabia, greatest voice for that shit. According to the UN website, the organization executive director slammed the election, good, which occurred in a secret vote during the UN's Economic and Social Council. A secret goddamn vote, really? Fucking really. And we should trust you assholes. We should really trust you shitheads. We are pulling this shit on people. It's so fucking infuriating. It, it's comical as it is infuriating. It's it's a very bizarre type of thing. It's just so mind-boggling that it's like, I don't know how to react to this. I really don't. Electing Saudi Arabia to women's rights is like electing an arsonist to, to the town fire chief. Basically, it's like making Jer or Jared fucking Fogle the voice for... Uh, Children that have been molested by kids, or molested by kids, molested by adults. It's like making him their VO. It makes no fucking sense. It is absurd, as Nur pointed out. Noting that all women in Saudi Arabia must have a male guardian who makes all critical decisions on her behalf, controlling, all, controlling a woman's life from her birth until death. Yeah, that's how life is in there, in that area. Saudi Arabia also bans women from driving cars. But guess what? Guess what, ladies and gentlemen? They're on the UN Women's Rights Commission, even though they don't want women to fucking drive. They do not want women to drive. Saudi Arabia, a top US ally, is also on the UN Human Rights Council. God, as if this shit couldn't get worse, because, yes, I remember that happening, too. What the fuck are people thinking? Who thought this was a good fucking idea? Anyways, on to the UN Watch article. 
<laughs> the Geneva-based quote-unquote human rights group because that shit just got thrown out the goddamn window. You and watch. Okay, never mind. We're talking about these guys, the people that are actually saying like, hey, uh, you in the fuck. Condemn the UN selection of Saudi Arabia, the world's most misogynistic regime. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, they're the most misogynistic regime, but yet they're on the Women's Rights Council. WTF, UN. WTF. 200, or 2018 to... Oh, fucking hell. Until 2022. Oh, is that the vote, or is that the actual year? I must have misread this article when I found it. Oh, this, oh yeah, it must, yeah, it must be a vote count. Term on its commission to the... On its commission on the status of women. The UN agency exclusively dedicated to the promotion of gender equality and empowerment of women. Jesus. Well, Saudi Arabia's representing them. Yep, they're good to go. They're fucking great right now. Like in Saudi Arabia to protect women's rights, it's like, yeah, it's like making an arsonist a fucking fire chief. It's a black day for women's rights. For once, yes, actually, if third wave feminists come out and say, like, this was a shitty decision, yes, I firmly fucking agree. This was a stupid ass decision. Stupid goddamn decision, but I'm going to leave links down below to these two articles. I really just. What can I honestly say about this shit? As as opposed to just how it's just a stupid fucking dumb dick decision. Uh, there's a uh, video here. Which I'm... <sighs> fucking... God damn it. I'm so fucking pissed at this shit. It's, it's not even funny. But uh, anyway, folks. Saudi Arabia. They have a place on women's rights. Saudi fucking Arabia. Wow. Oh, fuck a duck. I kind of sort of wish the Daddy 5 thing was a more infuriating issue, but this, this, ugh. This is mind bogglingly stupid. Anyway, folks, um, I'm Luca Blight. This is not the video I wanted to make tonight. And I'll see you all for hopefully what will be a better video. Provided World War III doesn't kick off.